republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. <coughs> Before you, you have the minutes of the March uh, 22nd meeting. Thank you. Motion to approve. Second. Motion to Joe Barnes. Second to Sam Small. Is there any discussion, corrections, or additions to the minutes? Any discussion, corrections, or uh, amendments? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign, the minutes are approved. Before you have the bill claims payments and transfers. And, and the late list. Including the late list. So, motion by Larry Count to approve the minutes. I mean the, the uh, bill's claims and payments and transfers. Second. Second by Larry Morphew. David, could I have just a moment to, you bet. Uh, to look these uh, late list over? You bet. Uh, questions on the bills, claims, payments, transfers, or discussion? If there's not any, roll call, Miranda. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Cam? Yes. Morphy? Yes. Okay, the uh, bills, claims, payments, and transfers are approved. Before you have the treasurer's March 2022. Um, motion to acknowledge. Second. Motion by Sam Small, second by Joe Barnes to acknowledge the receipt of the Treasury's March 2022 financial statement. Any discussion? Being done, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion paid. Any, uh, any opposed? Okay, motion paid. You also have the County Clerk's March 22nd financial statement. Make a motion. Motion second. Sam Small. Second. second. Second by, let, let's take a, a take bullets. Is uh, any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carried. Next, before you have ordinance 2022-4, first reading of the budget for the year 22-23. I'll make a motion to accept the first reading of the budget, 22 budget. I second. Motion made by uh, uh, Jason Bullock, second by Larry Morphy, to accept the, or, or to approve the first reading of the uh, budget for 2022-23. Any discussion? And Judge, it, it, yes, as the 7% CPI. Yes, sir. Built in. Yes, sir. With uh, a lot of work, we've done it. Uh, you guys were adamant that we were going to do it. You were right in doing so. But all our county employees receive a 7% increase. That's uh, the other departments of the fiscal court. Had to dig deep, but we found it. We did. Right? We had to, had to <laughs> dig in every, every corner and get it. But that's what the state CPI is, 7%. And uh, this court, all of us, uh, last year was pretty much committed to stick with that. We had no idea it was going to be this. It's usually about one and a half to two percent. This year it was seven. So, but it's a fair because that's what the uh, projection is of the cost of living being up. Okay, uh, yeah. roll call. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Cowan? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Um, I don't know if this needs a motion or not. I'll ask him, Justin, but we have asked him to set the research and help us set up a 501 C3 for us to handle different things through here, emergencies. I don't, I don't think we necessarily have to do the motion right now. What okay. we can probably do is, is once uh, I get a little bit more information from you about, okay. about the kind of the goal there, then I can start with the process. Oh, okay, that'd be great. So we'll move on to proclamation. Uh, which one of you are Allie? Neither one of us. Oh, either one of you. That's the name of your organization then. No. 
<laughs> so, um, Allie is also a, a, a family victim advocate, and she she just uh, emailed you all okay. about this. Okay, go ahead and tell us your name and, and what you want us to do here. Well, my name is uh, Lauren owens Cobb. I am a, 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 a a family victim advocate at the, uh, the Children's uh, Access Center in Henderson, Kentucky. Um, we serve seven counties, um, and I am actually assigned Ohio County. We kind of split up the duties because we have two of us. So, um, so Ohio, Ohio County is mine, and we know that uh, ch child abuse happens, you know, all all year long. But you know, they've named April uh, ch as Child Abuse Prevention Month, and we would just like to thank all of you for doing this and showing up awareness and bringing light to what happens because it's definitely something, you know, that happens a lot more and worse, yeah. <laughs> sadly, and also like as time goes on, just, but I think it's just more people are reporting, more people are learning what they need to report. Um, and definitely COVID made it worse, we feel like too. Okay. So, would both of you come up here and stand behind me? Yeah. All you guys are probably standing here are still here. Uh, it's a proclamation. We don't have to vote on it, but we just want to show that we care about this. I want to stand up and get closer in, and I'll sign it, and y'all all be behind me. Y'all, uh, I don't want to get too close to you, Judge. You can sit, Joe. Well, I figured if I stood up, come on. There you go. Shorter, maybe you need to get in front. <laughs> hey, smile. One, two, three. Well, now you got it on recording, Dave. One, two, three. All right, we're good. Good to go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And make sure she's got your name and how to spell right here. Thank you. Do you want me to email back to Alice? Yes, that's fine. Thank you. 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 Okay, give me that one personnel thing. I have another one with Joe. That next meeting, I want you to look at the meeting just right before the meeting. Okay. Um, I'm going to move, uh, just because it's time under all the regulations, I move Jerry Bailey from $15 an hour to $15.55 because of his six months' time. Uh, it's effective 4 3 2022. We we'll move him to 1555. Jerry Bailey. Jerry Bailey. He's our maintenance man. Yeah, B A I L E Y. Yes. Okay. From 15 to 1555. So just a roll call. Mall. Yes. Bullock. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Johnston. Yes. Bailey. Yes. Count. Yes. Morphy. Yes. That's it. Um, Committee reports. Do we have any committee reports? Uh, I know you do, Larry, uh, about our trip Thursday night. Yeah, just that we're going to Edmondson County to meet with the judge and the two individuals that they placed on the uh, jail board, David and I, uh, Charlie, Charlie Shields, and Wayne Crow. Crow. Mm -hmm. and we're, we're give you an update what happened maybe at our next meeting. Good deal. I guess I got one for the equipment committee okay go ahead so we need to advertise for bids for a uh, a uh, semi truck we talked about it in a few of the road meeting meetings and everything and we talked about purchasing one and everything but the problem that we're we're going to run into is the price that they're selling for now because the market's gone up and the availability on how quick they move them. So what we need to do is put it out, the specs can be picked up from the road foreman and uh, you know see what we can get on bids. We're looking for a huge truck that you know is uh, Nick has found some good deals but just about by the time he finds them he calls about them they move. Yeah. 
So what we're hoping is that one of these trucking companies that receives them in a lot is that they'll be able to put a bid in on parameters that, you know, will meet and uh, then there'll be a truck there when they bid it. Yeah. And we don't haul real heavy. So it no, could be a no. company truck that's uh, right. That the long reach weighs about 45. That's, that's the that's just 20, 45 ton, 45,000 pounds. No, that's just 20 uh, tons. I think it'd be 40. It's, it's probably pushing the 50,000. It could be. Yeah. So uh, I hate to say for sure, but that boom's so long, yeah. you know. Uh, but that is the thing that we need to be looking at. So just want to and it needs to have a wet kit because if our uh, our truck the trailer now is a cheater it's got a pony motor on it that works the hydraulics and uh, you really you know if it ever goes out I'd rather not replace it I'd rather have a wet kit on the truck don't you agree yeah yeah so there's a couple different there's a if we also have to ever pull a dump trailer or anything in the future you know yeah, we back it. Um, so anyway, that's just what we need to do. We need pass for the semi truck and the, the uh, specs we picked up the road crotch. Can I, I put a motion out for doing that. Yeah, okay, step second. Yeah. Uh, I was just thinking, uh, second to Joe, I don't think we can get to, in a big hurry. I think that's where you miss your good deals. Right. But, uh, something that continues to be looking at or whatever but we do need to get an appetite well and one thing that Nick was finding he was finding trucks you know the price range he was finding for uh, some of them are running around 800 900 thousand miles yeah but then he's finding the deals for about the same prices in uh, in other places you know in some other states and they're they're like 200 thousand miles 180 and, and but the problem is they move so fast so you know by the time we can call and then, you know, do this, so we're kind of having to do it uh, like we do all the other bids, is go ahead and put it out and see who will bid. Yeah. And and uh, hopefully one of those companies that's been having some <coughs> bids will go ahead and put a bid in. <coughs> and then when they get one to come in, they can hold it. Yeah. So I don't uh, think you, uh, I don't know what kind of price you guys had in mind, but I don't think you need to get anything greater than 900. No, no. Uh, That's what we were. What we were but if you get somewhere around a couple hundred or three hundred, you're going to pay for it. Yeah. My brother had a good truck. He sold and after he died. Yeah. And it was, uh, it was a kennel work. But he went from pretty good that thing. It would have been good. Then. It, but that was a little bit before COVID. So. Yeah. Then what we can do is we can turn around and you know, move one of our trucks or yeah. both of the trucks out because we'll have one good, reliable truck. Yeah. I don't think you need it. Our county roads, I don't think you need a, uh, a sleeper or anything like no, that. No, he's just looking at a regular, regular, regular cab. cab. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and they're out there. It's just a question of <coughs> where's the find on it. And don't let a wet kit hold you up. You can put a wet kit on. Right. Uh, Nick was calling to get some prices on what the wet kits would be. Yeah. And that way, when we get to the point where we open up bids, he'll already know that. Yeah. If, if they come in and they don't have wet kits. So. And a wet kit may not be something we have to put on immediately in. Right, right. So, uh, I'll tell you who's deals a lot in there is nobody like Henry. He's constantly buying trucks. Yeah, I've talked to him about it. Have you? Yeah. yeah. It's a good deal. It's good deal. Yeah. Uh, anybody, uh, no further discussion. All in favor of, I just advertise for bid. You'll vote on again before we buy. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, we got to open it in there. Yes, a used semi yes, used. with, it, well, should we put out there about what kind of miles, 300,000? He was going to put that all in the specs. Okay. You know, we so told him, you know. I think we put 200. Okay. Okay. That's yeah. good. I think we was going to do a range, you know, yeah. but. Yeah. So. All fair say aye. Aye. Opposed like so. Thank you. Any other committee reports? If there are none, let's go to the magistrate's comments and questions. Sam Small. Uh, I have nothing to do. Jason Bull. When you know, we were talking about our flex money, just curious. When is, when is the deadline? When do you need to know about where we want to how soon we want? Well the, the sooner the better. It wouldn't go in effect until the first of uh, uh, July. But I would like to get the state 
the highway department to inspect those. State engineer had to go over and inspect them before we do it. I like to spell a lot on a black top road. You can't be over a gravel road. Then. That's right. correct. Uh -huh. And the road has to be in a certain grade of deterioration. Yeah. Which so I mean, we've only had two, one. Right. right. But then. Uh, we only had one or two turned down over the last time I've been here. Beetle was right. one yeah. of them. That's correct. The back of Jason <laughs> County does have to be uh, like the prior to uh, putting on the new cap or whatever. It has to be black top. It has to be paved. We put them over chip and seal, okay. but we never put them over gravel. Yeah. Well, that, that, that was my question. I was concerned yeah. about whether we could. No, you can do it over chip and seal. Put it over chip and seal. Okay. Um, that's what we were talking about. I know. But we don't even have our money in now. But I would like for all of you to send me roads. I've already got one price for Sam, Jason, and say more for you. You got one for me. I got one for you too, send me. <laughs> if, I get, if I do, there won't be no more left. Everybody, never mind. So I'm not really making a presentation. It's over just a little bit. So I'm more than making a presentation. Do you have something, David? Yeah. Okay, come on. Why David's coming up, but do we have a, uh, on our blacktop might is, and it'll be after July anyway, but do we have any kind of idea whatsoever what the blacktop's going to cost us per month? Uh, yeah, but it, it's changing every month. But I so think it's $79 on the index. 79000 No, per month. No, not per month. Mm -hmm. Just a. What's that figure out, Mark? Well, you got to do the width. Yeah. Out for you. Yeah. I'd, like, I'd like to know it. Give me some kind of idea of what you think. Yeah. What kind of width are you looking at? Oh, probably yeah. 14, 16. Okay. That's what most of them are. Unfortunately, I wish they were 20. Well, the new specs on the new roads, they have to be 20. I'm supposed to be. Is there like Any new road we take in with the oh, apartments, it's 20 foot. Yeah. 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 Well, I was talking about that. Uh, you like the flex money, but I don't know about what uh, my share will be. I'm just kind of curious how far I'm going to be able to. Not very far. That's crazy. He's going to say that. Uh, uh, I'm thinking. I got. I have spent money from the last time in your district yet. I'm thinking it and what I end up this year with it. I'm going to do that uh, road we talked about. Okay. Bypass. Yeah. But one half mile of it. Is that right? Hey Judge, didn't you want to back up second road because of last time? When we had a second road, we had to pull it all out and do it. Can we get a backup second road yeah. for everybody? Yeah, we'll have something else in mind in case one's turned down for the state. Okay. What brand is one? The backup in case they turn down? I'm well, right. it put us off by like a month and a half last time because we didn't have the backup well, ready. So okay. if we can have it. And very seldom has been here just recently is when they've been rejected. Well, they, you already called them. Did they go out there and look at those big hair models? No, but but I, I appreciate it. They don't have to the one. Be this all that you put on the flat. No, they don't have to inspect the others. You don't let them get out out so oh, they ever stay in this area. Just want them sit there, stand in there. Yes, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. That's all right. Uh, Good guys, we want to come to you tonight. Uh, uh, of course, you all know David Ray. He's our director in dispatch now, doing an excellent job. Our overtime hours have gone down. Uh, we still have some issues with personnel, finding the right people to fill those jobs. Uh, David's been uh, uh, great with, with keeping that, uh, that budget the best we can maintain it. Uh, we, we are looking at maybe a few uh, issues with having enough money to make it through to the end, but we're gonna try to, we, we, we've not been spending much of anything. We're gonna to try to put that back where we can to help, uh, help us get through the year. But uh, David has some issues here in the dispatch center. We have a lot of screens and, and they're working with different screens and they're, they've got six different, um, the, the uh, mouse to use for each screen. So he's gonna to explain to you a little bit about that, what we're asking for down there. And uh, I think his knees were kind of doing this. I heard him back there a while ago. This is his first time speaking. So <laughs> he, he's going to do a good job. So I'll turn it over to David. Uh, got a quote. It actually was referred to us by Davis County. They have the same equipment. 
Uh, it allows us to do eight computers or up to eight computers connected together, where you could use one mouse, one keyboard to flow freely between all of our monitors. Instead, see that second picture, we have six keyboards and five mice, or vice versa, that we're having to shuffle between, depending on what piece of equipment we're needing. I'm sort of just asking the court to think about it to. So it already flows, it's just you got to go from one mouse to no, it's we have one keyboard for one position or one computer, and they're all so, next to each so other. So none of these, these flow right now, are no. they? No, they're, they're, all, key, they're all separate. So the one keyboard and one that is thing. Yeah, this piece of equipment that we have a quote for will allow us just to have one mouse, one keyboard, and can free flow through every piece of equipment we use. So you're looking at it, you need another $13,300. No, 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 that the uh, four thousand that is. Well, take that, Joe. You're off. <laughs> well, I'm uh, looking at the yeah. Um, the total on the flow, the forty-five hundred is for all four stations that we have. Oh, now we can do it when we get emergency fund from the COVID. No, no, the one that we done the twenty-five percent. Yeah. Oh, I would do that. Which we did check locally. We use big big consulting for any of our IT needs. He said as far as he's aware that's not this isn't something that could be purchased locally. It's kind of a specialized piece of equipment that they don't offer around here. Uh, the, uh, uh, I have a motion from Larry Town, second by Larry Morphew, to approve this uh, this equipment up to forty thousand five hundred and sixty four dollars to be paid out of the emergency occupational tax fund. Judge, I do want to say that does not include shipping. Um, that did give me a second quote. They're looking at $130 for shipping. Well, but hey, hey we'll dig it out. Right. There's no installation fees. And it's sure, we pay that. Well, we take it out of his salary. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, look at it this way. We don't have to buy buy all those mice now. Right. We're saving money on mice. Uh, hey. Another thing we wanted to point out to you, uh, it was our, uh, if, if you look at that back page, that number in the red, that $3,637, that's what we've got left in our budget for this year. Now there's another phone line item there that we have, but it's usually exhausted by our phone bill, uh, which David's done some, uh, uh, we've done some upgrading there and we're gonna stay within the budget on that line item and, and we've even upgraded our equipment. So that's our balance of our what's left we can spend for stuff like this in our budget so we got to make it to july one with that and we'll be fine with it but we just didn't have it here to spend that's why we're here asking for it i thought that red figures uh designated that it in the hole <laughs> no that's that's what we've got left that's the current balance yeah. okay i'll pay for that uh, hold like that what's your carry i'm going to write the check okay. and so, hang on, do we? I don't, there's not any money in the reserves in that fund. It'll have to wait until July 1. Well, Just we'll borrow it somewhere there. else and then put it back. Thank you all, we appreciate it. Yeah, thank you, thank you. And, and I will say that uh, things, I, I'm getting real good response from that one, one, and what I mean that is I've had no complaint calls for several months from, uh, People and they do. If they don't, uh, if they don't get good response from you or anybody else, they call me. David's doing a good job. Yes, thank you. Proud of it. Thank y'all. Uh -huh. See you, man. Uh, further, uh, yeah. we down to you. Work down to me. No, you got another comment. Well, we're 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 looking. If we can't, if the money's not there until July, I mean. Joe and I are saying we'll, we'll take the 760 or we we'll divide that maybe between well uh, six that there's got to be a pretty big scam huh? oh yeah we can get it from someone that well if we can I'm willing to use our Joe's been wanting to give that money away on my phone <laughs> <laughs> well I mean I understand if there's, there's a fallback I'm just relieved when I looked at the back page and did the math and then yeah. the 13,000 everything <laughs> yeah. If we have to judge, I think what they're saying. If we have to, if, they, if, if it doesn't work and it's not the fund, it's not the July one and they need it now, I'm okay with using $760 out of my discretionary company. I am too. 
But let's see. Let's try to look at see what we see. Put hands work. See what she. Yeah, we, we, I think we can work that man out. Judge, I think we could. I mean, if, it's, if we need to wait till July one, I think we can make it through. I think it's been going up on us a little bit each month of price, but if we need to wait till July one, we can oh, make it through. It's going to keep going it's up. It's going to keep. Yeah, we probably. But the price has been going up on us. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say we probably want to lock it in. Okay. We'll do some. Can I have a roll call? Uh, we all said yeah. Uh, you got any more comments? No. No, I'm just coming. It's your turn. Oh, my turn. No, I don't have anything, Judge. Thank you. No, Judge, thank you. Uh, coronavirus update I'll give you. Uh, it's a uh, mixed bag. Our cases are nothing like they were, but our death rate is horrible. We had another death in the county this week from COVID. So um, I, I don't, I can't explain it, neither can the health department, but it seems to be that this new strand, these new strands, uh, most people don't get very sick at all, but there's a certain a percent that get sick and die. So that's pretty scary. Uh, if anybody else, so they, they, it, how much has it gone up? Uh, the death rate, it, it's as the number comes down on the new cases and the people dying is about the same. So it goes up where like 10% of everybody gets it or dying. Now. And it was below one at one time. Uh, one other thing, I'm Mr. Renfro, I need point of viewing committee to look at a road. Uh, it's named, uh, what's the name of that road? Nicholas Lane. Nicholas Lane. I need to send a viewing committee out there to look at it. We're looking at taking in about 100 feet of it or 100, 150 feet. Is that located at? Uh, it's, road. it's off the Rochester Road. 100 feet, that's pretty good. We, we about outside this year district. No. Yes. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's Joe's. Oh, okay. yeah. I thought, no. I'll yeah. take you out there. Okay. I thought you were saying it was his. No, yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's mine. I, mean, I might be cross eyed again. Though. No, no. It's, yeah. no. it's mine. Judge, I need to, I need to add one thing to the uh, Rural Water Line Extension Fund. Okay. 1,800 feet on Herbert Road, and it moves to the bottom, but uh, I'll get a, uh, I'll get a price on it from East Davis County Water and, and get back with you, Ann, okay? Okay. Uh, Larry made a motion. Somebody second it. This is to put it on the list. Second. I'll second. Well. Second by Jason Bullock. Do we have anybody in the audience? Uh, anybody in? Uh, we got one more thing. We vote on that. Okay. Let us vote on that. Two seconds. Is that what no, you we have. We, yeah, he, we just. Who did you get for a second? We need to vote on that. Yeah. Uh, just now I got Callan and that's it. Yeah. Oh, here's that's water line. Second. Okay. Yeah, the water line. Okay. To add it to the list. Right. Okay. All in favor say aye. Aye. Pope yes. likes that. We'll add it. And I'm appointed to viewing committee of uh, Nick, Charlie, and uh, let me see. Uh, who else can I send? Jerry Bailey. We'll put, put there on the viewing committee. We'll send them out to look it over. And then you will need to uh, assess it and see if we can do that. He got the easement signed. Okay. Yeah, every sign is notarized by the property owner. All that paperwork's done. So all we got to do is have a viewing committee and then vote take it in. Everybody, everybody signed. Yes. Hold on. Uh, For the hundred, anyway. It's been my intention to get you out there, and I can't do it. I want you to go look at it. You know where it's at? Yep. Okay. Yep. We've we talked about it. Good. We've no talked one. to the county attorney about it too. So. No one else says anything for the good of the body? I've got one thing. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Go yeah. ahead. 
So uh, on that semi truck, yes, we might want to have Ann look at what loans are out there in just in case okay. we go that route. I'm not saying that we would have to go that route, but Thanks, we, do. we need our we need to know what all of the options are. The Keiko loan still available for vehicles? Yeah. But we've been going I mean, through the bank. The, yeah, the bank's been doing a little bit better. Bank's been doing a better. Well, see what you know. If you go, if you opt to go that route and you borrow some, then you know you could get the truck and turn around and sell your other two, pay for your loan, or you know maybe you pay pay the the portion that you borrow off. We just have a single exit out there now, don't we? Um, No. Single axle semi. No, I believe it's double. I believe it's tandem. One single. One single, two tandems. The, uh, yeah, they're semis? Yeah. Yes. What's the, what's the matter with those guys? The, well, uh, one of them's wore out. The one that did have a wet kit that don't work anymore. And uh, then uh, the other one just. Mechanical function of it. Of that one. The one we leave hooked to all tanker when we're, when we're uh, chipping seal. I know no one is a little light on the uh, pulling the long reach. A little light duty. But yeah, we'll, we'll, do, we'll look into see where, in case we didn't have to borrow us, where the best options would be. Do what? There's copies of budget. the budget up front, I think. Yeah, there's copies of the budget on the uh, uh, thing if anybody would like to have one. But as of now, call us me to journey. I have uh, you know the ambulance that we had on back order forever, it came in today. Uh, we have the new ambulance, the stretchers, uh, two of the monitors, and all of the vents. We're waiting on one monitor. Uh, ambulance service employees said thank you all very much. They really appreciate it. All right, is it there now to look at? It's there. It's it's just the plain box. It hasn't got anything on it yet. It came in. Uh, Roy went and picked it up at the factory today. Okay. Right. Does the other monitor expect to arrive anytime soon or is it on back order? Okay. Yeah. It's taking a while to get them in. Yeah. Well, it's, it, it, everything is. Right, right. But they just want um, you all to let y'all know that they did come in and they really, the employees really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Ellen, did the uh, boxes, that, how much, what percent raise have they raised? I have no idea. I know it took us forever to get one because of the, the chip that everybody was looking for, yeah. you know. They weren't that much different than the last time we bought them. Is that right? Yeah, they were. We're good. They probably are now. Everything else is gone now. Well, we got that locked in last year. Yeah. Before the chip. Thank you. Thank you, Helen. I like it. That was my memory for getting to come and tell you about that. But once you look at that road, I want to do it, and Charlie and all of us want to. It'll help them a bunch if we just go out a little bit further. Okay. And we can solve the drainage problems. Yeah, well, we, we when, uh, when I talked to uh, Mr. Renfro and everything, we were talking about a different thing than taking in more of the road, I believe. So that's just an extension. Well, that basis. just gives us a way of fixing it that we can legally deal with it. So that's just an extension we're taking If it's our yeah, road, it's a, it's, it's a road there, so they just be extended. Is it an old county road? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, it's. It's an active county road, yeah. so they just be extended right. 100 feet. Yeah, but it was 100 feet, <clears throat> an old county road. An old public road. Well, well, I, yeah, I don't know the, all the details behind all that. Okay. It was never in the county system the way we got it now, but it used to be a public road. Yeah. All right, I'll see y'all a little bit later. I don't know what Larry? Larry went to the church service, church. he said. He went to church. Okay, all right. Jason, was that necessary? <laughs>